The cable I just learned is a Mini DIN 8 crossover cable, as we can see from the crossover connections between pins 8 and 6, 5 and 3, and 1 and 2. The model cable I'm really looking for, though, is a straight-through cable, and I don't, unfortunately, have the physical item here to use as a model. What we can do, however, is edit the wires of this cable to create the model we need, and then store the result in the database. To do this, first let's look at the wireless view of the cable. Turn on the edit mode by clicking the pencil tool. Then we can edit the wires. Let's start with 1 and 2. 1 to 1, 2 to 2, Notice that the editing changes we make are not saved, nor is the wire list resorted until we press the green arrow tool here. Should we wish to cancel our changes, we would press the red X tool to discard them. Now, let's change the remaining two crossover connections. First, 3 and 5. And then 6 and 8. Click the green arrow to save our changes, and then let's look at the wiring graphic. There we have our straight through cable. Let's add some notes. And then save it. I'll use the Auto Name tool to create a name for this cable automatically. This is based on the connectors. The S here means that it's a shielded cable, the 8 means 8 conductors, and the D means it's a direct straight through cable. We've seen how to create a model cable by starting with something close and editing it to achieve the wiring we need. Another approach would be to design the cable entirely with the Netlist Editor. To do this, I'll first clear the existing data, then click the Alt tab in the Test Data area to reveal some new buttons. Click New to create a blank wire list and bring up the connector menu. We start by choosing the connectors we want. In this case, I'll choose a 24-pin header for the left side, and a Molex 6x4 matrix connector for the right side. We don't need the match data window for this example, so I'll turn it off. Now we can click the editing tool to begin entering the wire list. I have in front of me the wire list that we need, and I'll begin editing, reading the list to you as we go. First, we connect pins 1 on the left to 1 and 2 on the right. I tab over to the characteristics column. We don't have any characteristics, any resistance or diode um, characteristics for this, so we'll just click tab again to bring us to the next line. Then we want pin 4 on the left to go to pin 3 on the right. Pins 5, 6, and 7 on the left to go to pin 5 on the right, pin 10 on the left to go to pin 9 on the right, and here we'd like to insert a 120 ohm resistor in this line. Pins 12, 13, and 14 on the left are all tied together as a jumper with nothing on the right, and finally we'd like to insert a diode on the left, the anode going to 18, so I type a plus 18, and the cathode going to pin 10 on the other side, minus pin 10. Now I'll save my results, and let's look at the graphic to be sure we have what we need. Double check the connections, pin 1 on the left to pins 1 and 2 on the right, 
pin 4 on the left to pin 3 on the right, pins 5, 6, and 7 on the left to pin 5 on the right, pin 10 on the left to pin 9 on the right with a 120 ohm resistor in series, 12, 13, and 14 all tied together in a jumper, 18 on the left going to 10 on the right with a diode. Finally, we'll enter some notes and save it in the database.